Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. Couple of people were asking about this question that how exactly we are going to add two big numbers which is going beyond the range of long also. So we know that how to declare a long variable long L1 is equal to some long number you can write it like this, right? Like this and uh, the compiler will ask that you have to specifically add L over here at the end as a suffix you have to add it. And we know that if you see this, the long digit, it can be minus 2 to the power 63 to positive 2 to the power 63 minus 1 and it can hold 64 bits. It means if you really see the range of long numbers like that, negative minus 9, 2, 2, 3, 3 up to this positive number. So these are the number of digits we can store in the long number. But what if you have more than these number of digits? So for example, let's see, I'll just keep adding some more numbers over here like this, more digits over here which is actually going beyond the long number also. And that's why you will start getting the error over here that this number is out of range. So in this case, I cannot use long because the maximum long value I can store up to this particular range. And then I can store up to 64 bits only. So in this case, what should I do? In this case, to provide the solution like that, Java provides big integer values, okay? Big integer classes we have so you can just simple write create the object of big integer let's see n bar number is equal to new big integer just create the object of this and then it can take byte array also it can take a string value also so you can pass in double quotes a long digit number let's see i'm writing some long digit number like this which is a, such a huge number like this i'm writing it over here okay see this that is what i have returned and then I'm going to create one more big integer number that is n2 number and then I'm just replacing some value over here instead of doing this I'm writing 9876 like this that I have returned and let's see at the end also I'm replacing some value 09988 like that and then I really want to add these two numbers so in that case what should I do I simply say n1 dot add method is there with n2 and then add method will give you another big integer so you can store inside the big integer variable let's see this is the sum is equal to this and then you try to print this particular sum on the console let's see what happens when you run this program run as a java application so here on the console you will see a big number is coming over here so this is the exact addition of these two numbers you can do that so whenever you have cert, uh, certain calculations like that which is having such a big number in that case you can use big integers in fact not only sum not only addition you can perform various actions you can perform subtract also you can do that in fact you can do the multiplication also see multiply with n2 so now you imagine when you multiply these two numbers it will generate such a huge number so in that case again you can store inside the big integer for example let's see multiplication and then when you try to print this uh, multiplication number let's see what is the output that we are getting so it will generate such a huge number without any problem here you can see uh, such a big integer number which is coming here which is the multiplication of these two numbers we are getting it over here right this is so awesome same thing you can do division also you can do a multiplication addition and the subtraction also you can do that what if tomorrow you have some decimal number like point values a such big decimal or floating number so for that you can use big decimal number also you can use this so let's see I'll take one more example with the big decimal number this is my big decimal number and then you have to pass a big decimal number like this for example 12.33333 something like this I'm writing right because the double value it can hold up to 64 bit up to after dot it can hold up to 15 to 16 digits but I'm taking more than 16 digits over here like this. See such a big a decimal number I have taken. Just need to import the big decimal number from Java dot a math package which is available. You can see integer is also coming from math package. Decimal also coming from the math package. Then I'm taking one more decimal number here. That is a D2. And then I'm saying, okay, this is my 90 point something. And then taking some huge number like this, 89891766 like that right and then if you really want to add these two numbers you can add that so let's see so i'll simply say d1 dot add method with d2 and then it will give you big decimal so i'm going to store inside the big decimal 
which is let's see d3 which is equal to this and then i'm going to print the value of d3 so let's see it is really giving the addition of these two big numbers or not so let's run it and let's see so here you can see yeah it's giving you 102 point something like this it's giving you so which is absolutely fine here you can cross check later on this is the exact output you will be getting from your calculator also same thing if you really want to multiply by these two big numbers big these two big decimal numbers that also you can do that so d1 dot uh, multiply with a d2 you can use this this will give you a big decimal number once again so let's see this is your uh, a d4 that i'm going to use it and then i'm really want to going to print this uh, d4 let's see what is the number that we are getting for d4 so let's run it and let's see so for d4 you are getting such a huge number here like this 1114 point something like this this is a level of calculation with these big decimal big integers classes you can use that so for such high range calculation if you really want to do that in such cases you can use these uh, big integer and big decimal numbers for floating values as well as your integer values you can use it over here so that's all for this particular video it's just a small thing that i really wanted to a couple of people were asking so i thought of creating a video on this particular topic maybe you are already aware of it if you're not please use these numbers people might ask you these kind of questions at a time of interview also thank you so much please subscribe to the channel share with others i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all